Hey guys, we're Kyle and Maddie, and we're traveling on just $60 a day as a couple. In our last video, we went to one of the most affordable thermal baths in the city, rode the public ferry down the Danube River, and had a picnic at Margaret Island. Today, we are wandering around the beautiful Buddha Castle and experiencing the hustle and bustle of Central Market. So we have been staying on the pest side of Buda, which I think is typically known as the like newer side. And today we are walking across the bridge and going to the Buddha side to see some of the main attractions to see. One of the big things that we're gonna see first is Buddha's castle. the Buddha side we had to cross walk over this bridge we could have taken public transportation but it was like the same amount of time so I figured we would just walk but the view over the bridge is actually really pretty yeah, and the hill that we just um, walked by it's, it's called Gellert Hill I believe and that looks like it has a really good view of the city but we're gonna wait for nighttime to go up there so we can see a sunset I don't think it's gonna happen tonight though because it's supposed to rain, so maybe tomorrow. We have very limited time to be out exploring today because it's supposed to start like thunderstorming at like noon and it's, I don't know my watch on. It's like 10 right now. Yeah, so we brought our rain jackets just in case. <laughs> that sits on the Buddha side of Budapest and it was actually first built in 1265 but that was pretty small then and so the majority of the building that you see now was actually built in the 1700s but pretty much it was just a palace for all of the Hungarian kings to live in but now it's a beautiful tourist attraction. actually a funicular that can take you from the bottom of the hill to the top up to Buddha's castle but I believe it's like seven euro a person so Maddie and I are just gonna take the stairs good view from up here yeah Beh it's super pretty but behind us is like the main part of Buddhist castle and they decided to put a big old banner up on it I feel like we've just had terrible luck with like scaffolding different construction sites big old posters on beautiful buildings I think I feel like Eastern Europe just hasn't liked us in that way yep there is construction everywhere we have gone <laughs> yeah <laughs> So we just left the area of Buddha's castle and we we're heading over towards, I think it's Fisherman's Bastion and Matthias Church, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, we're walking that way now. of 
us as Matthias's church. We might be saying that wrong, I'm not sure, but it is absolutely stunning. It is gigantic. And apparently it was built in 1255, which is just 10 years before Buddha Castle was built. And it has been purposed to run as the Buddha Castle's church. And this is also where a lot of the coronations happened when a new king would come into power. They're all different colors, but I don't know why they're that way. I just think it's for for it to look cool. <laughs> so now behind me is Fisherman's Bastion. It is 140 meters long, and uh, it was originally built for defense for Buda Castle, and it's named Fisherman's Bastion because there was a fishing village located right below it, and in times of need for defense, the fishermen would come up and man it. They say to come here at sunrise for a beautiful view, but it's been raining every morning we're here, so we haven't been able to do that. Alright, so we are leaving Fisherman's Bastion right now. It is absolutely beautiful here. Like, I think the entire castle district is a really cool place to come to see some really good views of the city. Uh, but now we are heading back across the river and we are heading to Central Market Hall to eat some lunch. normally don't take public transportation, but it was like a two mile walk and we were willing to pay 90 cents a piece to ride. We are about to walk up to the Central Market Hall. This was built in 1897 and this is Budapest's biggest market. So Maddie's gonna see if she can find some goulash and I'm just gonna see if there's anything that looks good. <laughs> grocery shopping in here. There's just so much stuff that can get to us. Okay, so we got a lemonade, which was a thousand fourth, and we got goulash, which is, which was 2,500 fourth. Um, goulash is actually from Hungary, so that is why we got it. Um, and, we, and it also came with two pieces of bread as well. So it's actually goulash soup, which is a little bit different than I feel like we have in the U.S. In the U.S. I think it's more like noodle based and stuff. Here it's more soup based. Mm -hmm. Try it. Yeah. Yeah. One more. Yeah. It's really good. Um, Hungary is also like the biggest paprika producer in the world and you can definitely taste it in its cuisine. It's definitely full of paprika. It's so good and it's super savory and it has like really like juicy meat in it. It's really good. Behind me is where we were able to get our food and you, right when you come into the market you have to go upstairs for the food and then there's also like clothes and purses and souvenirs that you can buy. So 
downstairs is kind of where you would find your fruits and vegetables and meats. And we read online that this is actually Budapest's most expensive market too. So um, any pricing that you see is probably generally a little bit more than what is at a typical market. a famous room bar in Budapest. I think it's called Kolovese Kurt, and they have some pretty cheap drink, and we're gonna go get a beer this afternoon. It's closed. <laughs> Apparently it opens at three. Uh, Kyle's that open at 11.30, but we think that's just the restaurant part of this. So, what are we gonna do? Coffee We're trading out our beer for our coffee. Yes. Thank you. Alright, so we finally got our iced coffees. They're actually iced lattes, but they're only like two dollars a piece, right? But they're a little weak. That's okay. They taste good. Yeah. But we're gonna go back to our apartment for the day and do a lot of work. It's supposed to start raining here like any moment, so. But I think we got a lot of the stuff done that we wanted to today. And the only thing that didn't work out was going to the rune bar. It's pretty good. Yep. Sad about that, but we had a pretty good day. Yeah, we did. So I guess next time we'll see you, we'll be on our way to Turkey. Whoa, yeah. We're excited to go to Turkey. That's crazy. It'll be really cheap for us. <laughs>